Okay, I'm here for my second whiskey of the evening, and I thought that I would shoot this segment before I run out of daylight entirely, as there is still some daylight coming in by the window, but the sun is getting low, so I might as well do this before I have to turn all the lights on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That chocolate, chocolate cocoa age was uh, really hit the spot. But now I have something else that's quite special from the November 2019 BC Liquor Store Premium Spirits release. This one here is a Pike Creek finished in Oloroso sherry casks. It's bottled at 45% and it's 21 years old. That's not just a number 21, that's 21 years old. I believe the finish, the Oloroso was finished, yeah, so I don't know how long the finish was, but uh, it is 21 years old, and it says here on the bill of sale, Pike Creek, $89.99, so $90 plus uh, $9 uh, liquor tax and $4.50 uh, goods and services tax. So thirteen fifty on top of ninety, that would be a hundred and three fifty, um, and ten cent bottle deposit, um, hundred and three fifty nine, because it was uh, eighty nine ninety nine. So hundred and three dollars and sixty cents cash. Or 59 cents debit buys you this one so just over a hundred bucks Canadian for a 21 year old whiskey hundred dollars come on that is a good deal that is if you oh I think I found a little pull tab there's a, there's a little little pull tab right uh, here sort of yeah you can see it's gold a gold pull tab so we'll just pull it. And it goes right around the bottle, taking this little plastic thing off. And we have a wood chopped cork. Oh, no pop at all. That was loose, loose cork. Very loose cork. That's not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to to be a little more tenacious and give me a pop, but there ain't no pop here. This is just, no, oh, I can lift it up by the cork, but it's not, not much there. It's loose. Okay. So we've given you the price, $103.59. All the raw salt cask finish, 21 year old select oak aged Canadian whiskey finished in Oloroso sherry casks for a complex and luxurious experience. This whiskey brings together Pike Creek's signature smooth style with hints of vanilla, dried fruit, and spices drawn from the Oloroso sherry casks. Bottle number 2,682 of 4,410 bottles. So it's a bit exclusive. All right. I don't know if I'll be able to get another one like this. Maybe. I remember when Port Charlotte put out 10,000 bottles of their um, PC-10 Second Limited Edition and I was able to get bottles for three years. Mm. Canadian whiskey. It does smell like Pike Creek. There is a Pike Creek sort of character to it. That's common with the 
rum finish in common with other bottles of theirs. I believe I finished off another Pike Creek quite recently. And that was the one that was uh, that was the one finished in uh, in uh, Scotch whiskey barrels. Was it Highland or Speyside? And I like that one a lot. This one smells delicious, but it doesn't have the um, the rope around the collar like the the other ones did. Oh well, no rope around the collar. I'm definitely getting medium to darker fruits, dried fruits coming from the Oloroso. Getting things like uh, pears, some berry notes. It's uh, getting some wine notes. What other fruits am I getting? Things like currants, berries, not too dried, a little bit of prune maybe, dates, figs, that kind of thing. But they're not all dried. There's still some ripeness to it, and it's a little bit soapy. That could be from the yeast. It does smell delicious so far. I am enjoying the nose. Yeah, this is one of the nicer Canadian whiskeys with sherry. Yeah, a little bit soapy. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that is fine. That is very fine. And 21 year old Pike Creek with that Oloroso finish is just to die for. There it is again, a little bit soapy. Mm. Oh, but I like that first first sip. That first sip was amazing. I am becoming quite a fan of Pike Creek, considering that I had that other bottle twice. Uh, what was it? It's not there. Wait, maybe I got the empty here. Huh. It's not here either. Is it that long ago since I finished it? Wow. That must be two months since I took those bottles in. We 
weird. I thought I would have still had the empty, but I don't have the empty anymore. Oh well. Let me check something else. No, I can't do that because uh, my browser shut off. And I shut off the browser so that I would have more power to do this uh, movie. Movie shooting and editing. Oh, yum. If you can get your hands on this Pike Creek Oloroso cask finish, I highly recommend it. The nose alone is worth the price of admission. $103 if you can still find some. Mm. Mm. Well, that is a beautiful, beautiful drum. Very smooth, but I'm not using the word smooth in a derogatory fashion. This is just delicious in mouth coating. It's smooth, and the finish is Oloroso Sherry, still very smooth. And it just lingers and lingers and lingers on. <coughs> they got the finish just right. Let's have a look and see what we got for legs. Ah, see? We have little trails coming down like those. See those little trails coming down? Well, that 45%, but not too terribly viscous. Once again, we have the little trails coming down. See those little trails of little bubbles? Ah. Oh, this is perfect as is. But I'm going to try, try the water just a little bit. See what that does to it. It's perfect in every way without the water, mind you. But I'm just doing this for the sake of trying it. It hasn't changed the nose much, but it's watered it down. Mm. If anything, that has made it more refreshing. More refreshing. And on the finish, on the aftertaste, I'm still getting fruits fading slowly. And just a little hint of bitterness. I guess the tannins from the wood. But it's so well done. It's seamless. It's just, it's a lovely whiskey. I, I highly recommend this Pike Creek. It is delicious. Outstanding. Mm. Oh, this is so nice. So very, very, very nice. I was not expecting it to be this good. I'm not that big a sherry fan. I'm not that big into sherry, although there are some sherry whiskeys that really do it for me, like Glen Farkless 15. Um, yeah, Glen Going 12, um, Glendronic 12. You know, there are a few that really work. 
but this is probably the nicest sherry finished Canadian whiskey and I'm including Canadian whiskeys that have had sherry added to them like uh, Alberta Premium Dark Horse this is probably the nicest Oloroso finished or Oloroso added Canadian whiskey that I've ever had this is just supreme this is wonderful cheers food quick <laughs> food quick food quick food quick food quick <laughs> <laughs>